flu forecasting is really interesting. Health researchers are able to predict when the start, peak, and increases in flu activity could happen. It's an awful feeling John Owen was all too familiar with. I started feeling the achiness, the body achiness, and the, um, the chills. A sign of the flu, a virus he had a few years ago. And sure enough, his doctor told him what he feared. Well, they gave me the test and I tested positive for influenza B. The CDC says the flu season begins on October 1st, but doctors say they've seen people with influenza already, including Jake, who is still recovering from the flu. He reached out to Krem to find out if there's any indication of why so many people are getting sick already. I think my case was relatively mild, but struck me though is just it seemed early in the season. Dr. Bob Lutz with the Spokane Regional Health District says they are monitoring flu cases but are not seeing more than usual. The CDC uses flu forecasting in other parts of the world to see what we can expect during our flu season. They're based on observation and estimates of what existed before and what's the likelihood of the same strains being the dominant ones the following year. Dr. Lutz says it's not an exact science, rather a reflection of the possibilities. We hope that what is seen in the Southern Hemisphere provides guidance for us, not only in creating the vaccines, but also in what we can expect and how we sort of monitor it, as well as inform the community and providers on how to address it. The flu season in the Southern Hemisphere started early, then tapered off, which means we too could see an early flu season. Dr. Lutz says a concern is the flu vaccine that's recommended in the Northern Hemisphere might not match what was seen in the Southern Hemisphere. If it doesn't match and we see those same strains in the Northern Hemisphere, you don't have that good coverage of the vaccine. That's always the concern, but again, it's sort of an unknown at this point. It's just too early to predict.